Hi folks, Yachtsman1 from the Pictures to Exe forum. Today I'm going to talk about masks my way. There's been a, a couple of thing questions asked on the forum this week about masks and I think it's a, a suitable subject for me to do a, another of my tutorials on how I make a mask. Well, first of all, you need to open your picture editor. I'm using Adobe Elements 10 and this is the poor man's version of Photoshop but I believe you can do it in many of the free programs. So first of all we'll open our image. So click on new open. Now I've got some pre-prepared images here and this one here is the one that I'm going to use as the mask. Right, there we have it. Next I suggest you resize this to the size that you normally have in your slideshows because the final image I'm going to create is a PNG image which blows up the size that you've got your base image set at so it as small as possible so that you're not overweighting your show. Right, I use two different methods of creating masks. One uses the rectangular mark tool and the elliptical mark tool which you can see there. The other way is for a free drawn one I use the eraser tool. So first of all I'll demonstrate the rectangular mark tool. What we need to do first in simple terms is remove the photo paper backing from your image um, to put it in old fashioned terms but we're taking the back out of the image so that all that's left on the screen is what you actually see. So select the rectangular mark tool and drag it across the full width of the image. Then go up to edit and select cut. So you're then left with the paper that the colour image was on. So you need to get rid of that now. Click on file, close. Now you don't want to leave it like that because you want to keep the base image. So say no. You don't want to save the changes. Next go back up to file and select new blank file. And there you get the box for your blank file which is the same size as the image that you are going to put onto it. At the bottom here it says background contents. Make sure that is transparent and click OK. Now you've got a pixelated image of the original. Go up to Edit and click Paste. There you've got the image back on and unfortunately I didn't set the um, brush type to a hard edge or I left this box with 10 pixels of feather. I'll come to back to that later but for the purpose of this exercise this is what we've done. Now we now to de decide what type of mask you're going to have either a free drawn one or one <coughs> that is already built into Elements 10 which I showed you previously. You've got the rectangular marquee tool and the elliptical marquee tool. The elliptical one is a bit more flexible. Both versions you can set whether you have a hard edge or a soft edge. At the moment we've got feather here set at 10 pixels. So I'll just delete that. Deselect the tool. And reselect it. And now we've got zero feather so we'll have a hard edge to the image and I'm going to select 
the elliptical marquee tool. Now position the cursor where you want the cutout in the base image to be and just drag across like that by holding out shift or an ovoid shape like that. So when you've got the shape that you want in the position that you want it go back up to edit cut. And there you've got the opening that the mask will cover and that's the area that will show through when you put that into pictures to exit and add it over your base image. Now I'll just do that again with the square. So we'll go up to edit, undo cut pixels, edit, undo elliptical marquee, right click on the marquee icon and click rectangular marquee tool. So there we've got the rectangular one. Go up to edit, cut, and that's the hard edge opening because there are no pixels selected for feathering. Go back up to edit, undo cut pixels, edit, undo rectangular marquee tool. Right now, if you want to free draw the shape of the mask, I use the eraser tool, which you've got here. So click on that, and that opens this box here, which is the size and type. If you click the drop down arrow here, it shows you the default brushes that are available. Now there are lots of them there, and I haven't a clue what they do, but the ones I use are on the top four lines here. You've got various sizes and you've got hard and soft edges. For the purpose of this exercise we want a soft edge because I'm going to try and draw a heart shape and you need it fairly small so that you can get a definitive shape that you can actually see. So I've selected 45 pixels soft. So we'll try and draw the heart shape now. There you've got the heart shape. Now what I do to clear that lot off is go back again to the brush size and select a bigger brush tool now we've got a hundred pixels, That's that gives you that size. So we'll go up to 200. Right, we can clear off quickly now the remainder. I'm being a bit rough here doing it. I, normally I would be more careful than this, but I'm conscious of the time that this demonstration is taking. I won't finish it off because now you need to know how to actually save that mask that you've created. So we'll go up to File, down to Save As. First of all, make sure it's going where you, you want it to go into the file in your Pictures to Exe Show file. Put a title on it. We'll call this one mask 11 get that out of the way now the format needs to be PNG which is there so we'll click on that that's brought up the other mask that I've made for this demonstration click on save now I've already got an 11 so I'll say yes we're going to OK it. And the final phase is to click on OK on the PNG options because there's no interlacing. Now, I'm not really sure what that means, but uh, that's what I use. So, being as this is my way, that's how I do it. Now, that's interlaced it. Now, the final act for this particular mask is to get the image back into your file without destroying it.
click close save changes no so that you get your base image back you've already saved the mask to get your base image back that you started off with just click no and that clears that right I've prepared a little show here with the masks that I've described apart from the one that's over a video clip so I'll just run that through that's the self-drawn mask using the eraser tool with a soft edge that's the mask using the elliptical marquee tool with a soft edge and then it fades into the hard edge and then we've got the mask over the video clip right that's about it hope that will help you to create a mask my way right now the observance amongst you will have noticed that I didn't finalize the last bit of adding a mask into your pictures to XE show so apologies for that so I'll just run through that now briefly quite simple operation select your slide from the list on the left hand side here drag it down into the slide line click on objects and animation there you've got the image that you're going to put the mask over and then go up to add image and click on that there are all the various masks that you've created so we'll click on M10 copy open there we have the mask using the elliptical marquee tool with a hard edge where you've got the base image that we created our mask from covering the image that we selected from the slide list right that's it I hope thank you for watching